All right, folks, we're going to do some tricks here, or uh, tests. We're going to do some tests. We got our Go Unitree Go 2, and uh, I set up a little dogs, dogstacle course, like an agility run for a robot dog. So uh, the first thing we're going to try to do is this is an eight and a quarter inch step. I Googled how, um, how high uh, stair steps can be, and this is the highest they can go. So I got the dog in climb stair mode, and then trying to get him in climb stair mode. But he won't go in the climb stair mode. Right. Oh, there we go. See, he does this high step in climb stair mode. So we'll see. Eight inch step is too far, too much for him. So it's, uh, Let's see how high a step he can do. We're going to drop it down to maybe 7 inch. That's 7. So we'll try that. I know I can climb the stair between my living room and my dining room. And I know it can go up the porch steps in my house. Oopsie. Seven inch, and then uh, to go down the stairs, you go backwards. He does the sort of crouching thing. So I think that's the limitation of our dog. It's a uh, it's a seven inch step. So you can see he's a, little, a lot more nimble when he's not in uh, stair climbing mode. Alright, I'm going to uh, do some other stuff with our dog. We're going to watch him go through some uh, different areas to see uh, what type of obstacles um, he uh, can sense and what obstacles uh, the dog cannot sense. So I've set up a few things. So I'm going to stand next to the dog. I'm going to uh, press the I got the little beacon, and I'm going to press the M button. I'm going to clip it to my belt on the side of my body, like so. And then I'm going to press the M button two times, and that should put him in side follow mode. Right. Okay, then I'm going to press the L2 button twice, and that should put him in obstacle avoidance mode. Whoops. L2. Come on back here. No. Right, back the fuck up, dog. No. Alright. I'm going to use the joystick to get him to stop because... This is a problem I've been having with the dog, is he does not like to go into obstacle avoidance mode. So I'm going to switch to the app here. And try to get my special function, more function. Avoid, see, the avoidance is on, but he's certainly not avoiding things. All right, that says open avoidance is on. So let's try the joystick and see if... He will, in fact, avoid obstacles. Nope. Oh, you gonna do it? Yeah. He seems to be avoiding obstacles now. So, I don't know why he didn't do it from the app. All right, now I'm going to try to turn on side follow mode with the M button. Two presses of the M. Now he's following at my side. But boom. Fuck, dude. Can you not run into shit? All right, well, that didn't work very well. So I have side follow mode on in this thing. Avoidance is on. And then I'm going to press the L2 button here twice. Because that's what the instructions say. 
and we'll see if that works. Alright, let's try this. Fuck, dude. This is just, you know, I'm trying to read the directions, and uh, so I'm using the joystick to get the dog in the right place. Okay, two presses. I'm going to get the owner's manual back here. It says, start the side follow mode. Important step. Short press M button twice to start the slow auto following mode. I do short presses. That means beep beep. So you can see now he's in side follow mode because he's sort of standing next to me. Although he's not really behind me. In the past, he's sort of stayed behind. Then, turn on or off obstacle avoidance. Short press the L2 button, which is right here, L2. Short press L2 button twice to turn on the obstacle avoidance. I did that. Is it avoiding any obstacles? We're about to find out. Obviously not. It's running into the every obstacle it can find at this point. Oh, that might be working better. So I press it one more time again to exit, which the instructions say exits it. All right, so now we're going for a little walk around the warehouse. We're going to see uh, what type of gap. Here's the next challenge. The first challenge was not running into shit, which we sort of failed miserably. The big issue is there's no indication as to if the dog is in obstacle avoidance mode or not. That really is the problem. There's The app screen doesn't tell you because it always shows that it is, and the dog has no indicating light to tell you if he's in obstacle avoidance mode. So here's our next challenge. We're going to try to go through, I'm going to go through that gap right there and see if he follows me through it. So, just walking through, he sort of, kind of, sort of did it. Next challenge, we have a shopping cart, which is kind of um, an object that isn't very solid. So let's look at what it sees. The LiDAR sort of sees something there, so I don't think it's going to run into the shopping cart. No, not really. Uh, doing something. It was shoot, trying to shoot that gap, I think.